I'm Claudia Brown Coulter from Brownie Culture. I am a divorce mediator and I help you create a customized divorce that you can uncouple consciously and respectfully. So today we're going to talk about five things not to do as a co-parent. We're going to count it down. Now, before I go into this list, I want to let you know why I'm talking about this. Like, why can't you trust me? Well, that's up to you. But I'm I'm divorced. I've been through a divorce. I'm a single mom. I've got a five-year-old. He's fabulous. I do share custody with my ex-husband. And also, I have been an educator in the public school system for nearly 20 years. I know. I mean, you probably are like, girl, I know. I can see it. But I'm like, ah, oh, no, 20 years. Oh, my God. I actually met somebody the other day, and I was like, oh, my gosh, how is your son? He was in my third grade class. And she was like, oh. Oh, he's in the service now. He's about to have a baby. <sighs> Wouldn't make a girl feel old. Anyway, <laughs> so I know a lot about kids. I know a lot about parents. And I spent many, many years helping kids. And I hear all of the drama. Okay, we hear all your drama. So your job, part of your job is to help there to be less drama in your child's life. Okay, that helps them focus on school. So we're going to do a countdown, the five things not to do as a co-parent. Number five, talk bad about your ex in front of your kids. You may want to, you may want to tell them the truth. Let me tell you what really happened. Don't do that. Wait till they're grown. Don't do that. Okay. If you want to be a good co-parent, don't talk bad about your ex in front of the kids. Wait till they're gone. Wait till you're out for drinks with your friends. Then let it go. Otherwise, hold it in. I talked about it in another video. Find the good. Find the good. Oh, yeah. They're really good at that. Focus on the good. All right. Number four. The fourth thing not to do as a co-parent is question medical advice, especially as it pertains to the safety or well-being of your children. So let me ask you a question. Do you really need a second opinion if your kids need glasses? I know, right? This is not some major life-threatening diagnosis. It's glasses. Don't question that medical advice. Asthma medication. It's okay, you know? If the doctor says to do something, you don't want to follow along for the safety and well-being of your children. Okay, there are other things. I'm sure you guys can let me know. What are some other things that people might question in terms of medical advice? The other thing, thing number three, not to do as a co-parent is forget to help your children with their homework. Oh, oh, you have homework tonight? Okay, we'll just go put it in your bag. You're done? Okay, I trust you. Uh, you should trust your kids and then go check. Make sure they earn that trust. Go check their homework. You got to put those that work in. Because otherwise, when they go to the other person's house, that person's going to be doing double duty. So you want to be a good co-parent. And you do this because it makes, yes, it makes your life easier. More importantly, it makes your children's life easier. It gives them a happier childhood because there is less drama. All right, thing number two not to do as a co-parent is schedule activities during the other parent's time and then be a jerk if they decide not to bring the kid. It's not your time. You can schedule it. You can invite the other parent to come. But if they've got other plans, they don't want to come and do it. It's too far away. They have other priorities. That's their right. That's their time with the child. As the child gets older, then they have more decisions and say in what they do with their own time. And you both will have less. So don't schedule things and then demand the other parent come and harass them about not coming. They don't have to do it. All right, and then our, my number one thing, this is the last thing, the number one thing not to do as a co-parent. 
is give unsolicited parenting advice. Nobody asked you. Now, their mama wants to give them advice. If the stranger at the store wants to give them advice, that's fine. But you, as their ex, don't say nothing. Zip it. Okay? You do not need to send a message like, oh, there was a lot of sugar in their lunch. You know, whenever they come to my house, they are always tired. What time do they go to bed? What time do they go to bed at your house? That's just going to create bad will. So as much as you want to, it's like they come to your house and you're like, things are out of control. What happens? Does anybody watch you over there? Okay, I was just observing my kid and I noticed and he said and then she said and I don't think anybody was there. Do you actually do your job as a parent? Send. Unsend that stuff. Don't do that. Self-control is hard. But if you laugh at it and then roll your eyes about it, it gets better. So if you don't want somebody to give you, if you don't want your co-parent to give you unsolicited parenting advice, don't give it to them. All right. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, go ahead and pass it along to someone who you think needs to hear this. Now, if that's someone that you think needs to hear this is your ex or your soon to be ex, don't pass that along because then that's unsolicited parenting advice. You pass it to somebody else and be like, you know what, could you, could you pass that to them? And then it'll come from another person. Hey, you guys have a great weekend. Things will get better and you'll get the hang of this co-parenting thing and things will run a lot smoother. I'm Claudia Brown Coulter from Brownie Culture. Divorce can be scary, but I am here to help you be calm and empowered. Enjoy your weekend. You deserve a great break this weekend. I'll see you next week.